Chess friends, how are you? Ian and Ding proves me that they are worse than 200 rated player, welcome to our 200 elo rated Fidey Chess Championship Round 8 game with Ian Nepo and Ding, in this game you will show the reign of blunder moves and so on, as you knew Magnus Carlsen withdrew from WCC from himself and dancing with girls, playing poker and flying in the sky, because chess is mental torture game, and this is your today's puzzle, solve it and comment me, so, let's go, Ding started with d4. Knight to f6 and c4, known as Indian opening, if you want to learn more about this opening, its tactics and strategy, then you can watch my this video where I teach grandmasters how they can play properly, I will share link in the description and comments, we have e6, he want to play d5 b6, bishop to b4 after knight to c3 known as Nimzovic defense, ok Ding played knight to c3, bishop b4 and c5 is a reasonable move to play on his next turn e6 we have castle a3 bishop takes takes. This double pawns are looks like garbage but white have a great option to consider to attack the kingside with the bishop's diagonal where the queen will help up the bishop, d6 knight here c5 knight g3 knight c6 and we have a childlike move rook a2, I think ding was drunk, that's why he played rook a2 for no reason, best was to push the pawn or play normally, by e4 bishop a6 and bishop g5, h6 and h4, sacrificing the first material on the game which Ian accepts it. After takes if you try to save the knight by playing knight h7 then the queen will arrive on there to destroy you, if f5 happen try to save the king like this then g6, rook goes to f6, and there is mate in few moves, check backs, and there is checkmate by taking the rook, and the game will be over, so back to the position, ding takes back his material, queen takes pawn e5 takes, and here Ding played d5, first mistake move, best was to play knight here to target the queen, knight e7. Another wrong move by Hippo, I mean Ian, best was to play rook d8, try to pin the pawn so the pawn couldn't take the horsey, so Ding get a chance to play d6 with a threat, horsey runs away and knight here, queen back to d8 and we have queen up to d3, Ding is threatening to play queen h3 to seize the h file as well there is checkmate on h7 and h8, so we have king g8, try to protect this with the rook, we do see here g4, bishop to b7, if you accept the sacrifice by playing pawn takes knight. Then after pawn takes your knight will be in a under attack and it can't move because of the rook, so after bishop g2, pawn takes knight, bishop takes takes and takes, queen takes pawn, and you know what, this position is minus 5 position for black even both side of same materials, I always prefer say that a chess game depends on the condition of king's safety and positional play, white's king is exposed and he is gonna die while black have a great safe position and the king is also saved in the corner. But in our actual game, we have rook to h3. Knight h4 g5, and we have bishop exchange on center knight here, rook d2 and rook to h8, mistake move, best was to take the pawn or play a simple move, sometimes simple moves, safe the game, we have queen takes rook, this queen's move birth a new strategy with the d2 rook by playing rook here then rook h3 to pressure the h file with the bishop, but ding plays d7, instead of rook d3, he missed win the game, so, rook to d8, queen takes check, king here, check. King here and we have some queen and king hide and seek game, he plays queen c7 to save the game from drawn, queen to h4, blunder move by Ian Nepo, how he became world number 2 chess player, he had 40 minutes time and he made blunder, he should hide his face in a toilet room, best was to play queen to support the rook, his brother Ding Liren played king d1, another blunder move, best was to take the rook on d8. I think he was shocked that Ian plays that move so there might have some reason to play queen h4 with the knight to give checkmate, but there is no threat, no checkmate, queen takes pawn and the knight is coming to create problems but, White's position is totally safe, Ding played king c2, we have queen here bishop here and now, e5, mistake, best was to put the knight on there, sacrificing the knight, but a human brain cannot analysis this, there is endgame strategy with the kingside pawns. Anyway we have bishop e4, knight to h6, inaccuracy move because you no need to put the knight on there, best was to play a6 so Ding get a chance to collect the pawn, we have knight g4, bishop here, another mistake move, now Ian get a chance to play at least a brilliant move knight takes f2, 
and chess friends. If you want to become smart at chess then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, we have rook takes knight, and e4 to target it, Ding played rook here, in accuracy move. Best was to play bishop to g2 or h1, because rook move gives opportunity to play f5, stabilizing the structure, we have queen takes b6, mistake move, rook takes pawn, another blunder move, best was to play queen takes d7, to protect the king side, and threatening to play queen d3 check, the bishop will be a another target on f3 square, since rook takes d3 doesn't promise anything special, that's why it's a drawable move, here ding played queen to b8, queen d6, queen takes queen rook takes queen, and he sacrificed the bishop after pawn takes we have rook takes and this position is totally drawish, both agreed with a draw, now Ian Nepo have 65% winning chances in the Fide Championship, Ding have sad news because he is down points, however in my eyes both are 200 rated player, played 13 mistake and blunder move in this game. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.